Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my hair and makeup when I want to be more natural, or when I'm in a rush to go to work or wherever. Um, I just have my hair in a nice slick bun and my makeup is just natural everyday makeup. Before we start the video, by hitting the subscribe button, you are making my dream of becoming my own boss a reality. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and holla at your girl by leaving a comment down below. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna start out by using this Do Grow Hair Oil. I got this from Walmart, and I just like to put a little bit of oil in my scalp because I wear my hair in a bun for a couple days, and I just wanna make sure my scalp isn't super dry. So now I'm just going to part my hair down the middle because that's where I like to wear my part. You wear your part on the left, the right, in the middle, whatever floats your boat. So this is the gel that I usually use, but today I'm going to use the Eco Styler gel with black castor oil and flaxseed oil. And I'm just going to put a good amount all over my hair. So I like to use a paddle brush to brush through my hair first because it gets down to the root of my hair to help my hair to lay down easier. And then I go in with a hard brush and brush my hair into a low ponytail. Now taking my favorite edge taming gel, which is the Care Care Edge Tamer, I love this stuff. It literally lays your edges down so well. Um, and then I'm just going to use this to focus on my edges in the front and the back of my hair. So now taking this bun I got from Walmart as well, I'm going to place my ponytail through the middle of the bun and then brush my hair over top of the bun to cover it and secure it with an elastic rubber band. And right here, I'm just going to tuck the extra hair that's left out around my bun. Now I'm gonna use Pump It Up Spray, which is a really good holding spray to help my hair to stay in place all day. So the key to getting your hair to stay in place all day is to tie it down. So I'm going to just wrap my hair up and let the gel and the spray dry down while I am doing my makeup. And then when I take this off, my hair will just be nice and laid. So now I'm going to start the makeup portion out by using the Laura Mercier setting powder through my brows. Um, I do a setting powder before my brow pencil because I use the ink brow pencils and because my skin is so oily, sometimes the ink doesn't want to draw on my skin. So if I mattify my skin with the powder, it's way easier for me to draw my brows on. So I'm going to start off by using the Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is what I always use. And I'm going to start creating little lines through my brows to make it look like hair. So this is what the brow is looking like after it is filled in. Um, it's not filled in too heavy, so we can keep that natural makeup vibe going on. So to help blend everything together, I like to use Gimme Brow from Benefit. And I just take this through my brow to help blend the lines that I just made. Then to just make sure my hairs stay in place, I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Mm -hmm. 
Now for my primer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Blemishless Primer. Um, when my makeup is more natural looking, I'm not really going for that matte beat face. Um, I don't mind if my skin has a little bit of a glow to it. I do like to make sure that my pores are a little bit concealed. Um, so I go in with the Sephora Pore Stick Primer. Um, it's really good for minimizing the look of your pores. Um, just because I put powders on, so sometimes my pores can be accentuated when I use my powder. Now using this bomb, bomb foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in New Caledona. Um, and I absolutely love this foundation for a more natural look. So it gives me coverage, but not to where I'm wearing a mask. It just feels very light and breathable on the skin. So I'm just going to apply this all over my skin and blend it out. Now taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, also another fave, I'm going to strategically place the concealer where I need a little bit of highlight, a little bit of glow, um, and I'm just going to blend it out. I usually use a beauty blender, but I did not feel like getting up and wetting it, so we're going to use a brush today. Now going in with a little bit of Laura Mercier setting powder underneath of my eyes to set that concealer. So I do like a little bit of extra coverage over my foundation just to hide my imperfections because my foundation is so sheer. So I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder just to add a little bit more coverage. Now to add a little bit of dimension to my skin, I just purchased this Morphe bronzer. Um, first of all, the pan is huge. And the color looks pretty good, and I actually really, really like this bronzer. Um, so this is the color Prodigy. And I like to use this kind of as a blush as well. So I put the bronzer a little bit further up on my cheeks to help pull my face upward. So this is my favorite blush. This is Peach Twist from MAC. Um, this just gives the perfect peachy golden glow um, to darker skin tones, which is perfect for that natural look I'm going for. So you could totally stop here and just add some mascara and be on your way, but I am going to add some falsies. So I'm adding the Ardell Naked Lashes in style 422, I believe. Since the rest of my makeup is more on the natural side, I like to add a pop of color to my lips. So I'm going to end with this NARS lipstick called Charlotte. 
and it's a really nice purpley plummy color um, and I'm just going to pat it on my lips with my finger to make sure the color isn't so opaque and then we're going to use the Fenty Fenty Glow Gloss just to add a little bit of gloss to my lips. So y'all, I totally forgot to film an outro for you guys. I am so sorry. But I hope you guys like this quick hair and makeup tutorial. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss the next upload. Alright guys, take care. Mwah!